Hello everyone and welcome to my channel AI as a Service. My name is Johan, and today, I will share with you the process of creating your own AI avatar, just like me. By combining state-of-the-art AI tools and techniques, I was brought to life. Although I'm not a real human, I'm capable of interacting with you just as effectively. The text you're hearing right now was generated with the help of ChatGPT, an AI language model developed by OpenAI. And as for my voice, it's all thanks to the amazing work of Eleven Labels. They specialize in creating high-quality AI voiceovers that sound natural and engaging. The video you're currently watching was created using DID, an AI platform that allows you to produce dynamic and captivating videos with ease. So, are you excited about creating your very own AI avatar? So, keep watching this video till the end. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, AI as a Service. In this video, I will share with you the process of creating your own AI avatar. To create our own AI avatar, we will be using Midjourney for the AI image, ChatGPT for the script, Eleven Labs for the audio, and finally DID for the AI video. DID specializes in creating high-quality AI voiceovers that sound natural and engaging. By the end of this video, you will be able to produce dynamic and captivating videos with ease. So, keep watching this video till the end. To begin the process, let's start by creating an image. To do this, we will be using Midjourney. For those wondering, Midjourney is an AI-powered platform that allows users to generate high-quality images using a simple text prompt. The platform leverages state-of-the-art deep learning algorithms to create images that are both realistic and imaginative, making it a popular tool for designers, artists, and developers. To create an account, you need to go to their website and click on Join the Beta option. This will redirect you to the Discord server. Once you've joined the Discord server, look for newbie channels. To create an image using Midjourney, you'll need to provide a prompt. Midjourney has a specific format for prompts, which starts with the word slash imagine followed by a description of what you want the image to look like. To give you an example, I will use this prompt. This prompt was inspired by a Reddit post. It includes details like the camera type, its parameters, lighting conditions, and the desired aspect ratio of the image. Essentially, the prompt describes the image you want to generate. Let's start the image generation process. It will take approximately 30 to 40 seconds, so we'll need to be patient. As you can see, Midjourney has generated four different images to choose from, labeled U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, and V4. You can select one of these and it will generate four more variations based on that choice. Suppose we want to use one of these images and make it bigger. This process is called upscaling. To upscale the image, we can simply select the one we want and tell Midjourney to upscale it. It will take some time to complete this process. Once the image has been upscaled, we can save it. Great job! Now, let's move on to the second step. We'll go to ChatGPT. Make an account if you haven't already made one. I asked ChatGPT to generate a script for this video. The prompt is mentioned on the screen. In just a few seconds it has produced a script. Next, copy the script. For the third step, we are going to head over to Eleven Labs to generate the narration. I suggest you to sign up to produce longer audio files. The sign up process is free. Once, here, just paste the copied script from ChatGPT over here. Here are a bunch of audios for us to choose from. I am going to go with Josh. Here are a few more settings, but I am going to stick with the default settings. Next, click on the generate button. Wait for a few seconds. Ok, let's play this audio to check everything is fine. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel AI as a Service. My name is Johan, and today, I will share with you the process of creating your own AI avatar, just like me. Lastly, download the audio file to use it in the next step. Ok, now that we're finished with the audio, let's move on to the last step. For the fourth and final step, we will be creating a video using DID. DID is an innovative platform that allows users to easily create dynamic and engaging videos with the help of AI technology. With DID, you can create stunning visuals and animations in just a few clicks, without the need for any technical expertise or prior experience. To get started on the platform, you can either sign up for a free trial or get their paid version. I am gonna go with their free trial option. They provide 20 credits, that is 5 credits for each video. Next, click on the Create Videos option and click on Add the Avatar button. We will be using the avatar we created using Midjourney. You can also choose from numerous pre-built avatars on the platform. On the right-hand corner, there is an audio section. 
Besides typing in the audio script, you also have the option to choose from several voices with different styles, such as assistant, sad or excited, newscast, or angry voice as well. You can even choose a language. However, we will upload the video we created instead. After uploading the video, we can initiate the video generation process, which will take some time. Once the process is complete, we can either download the video right away or save it to our device and upload it to YouTube later. Although the face animation still appears robotic, you can observe that it was successfully synchronized with the voice. Despite this, the feature is still useful and impressive. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon for future videos. Let me know your queries and thoughts in the comments. Also, please consider sharing it with your friends and family. Sharing is a great way to help us grow and reach a wider audience. Thank you and see you in the next one.